Hi guys, this is Irman here from FanPageRocks.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can edit the free PSD file provided using a free web application. Okay, let's open the web browser and go to the website first. Okay, so let's go to Pixlr.com. It's P-I-X-L-R.com. Okay, that is without the E. P-I-X-L-R.com. Okay, let's do the steps that's required to edit the PSD file so that you can quickly change whatever that needs to be changed and post to your Facebook wall. Okay, so first thing you do is to open the photo editor and <coughs> okay, you can create an image, open an image, open image from URL or open image from the library. Okay, for the library, you need to actually create an account in Pixlr so that you can actually save um, images in the library okay so for now I am not logged in yet you can see over here I'm not logged in so, so what I do is I'll just open image from computer and I'll just open the free downloads that was provided okay let's go over what we have in the layers panel okay so for this PSD file I have one two three four five six seven eight layers okay so what are layers okay layers are actually um, if you can imagine stacks of paper that you lay on top of each other okay that's that's the simplest way to put it okay so how do you actually change or make use of the available layers that I have provided in the PSD file. Okay, so you can see that we have um, <coughs> we have actually four background. Okay, the four background are the one labeled gray, a blue pattern with highlight, blue pattern, and a dark brown. And above these four background layers, I have provided one shadow layer. And on top of the shadow layer, I have the frame frame background and the frame border and also the text that we have over here, which is just saying replace with your own text here. Okay, so let's see what I mean by layers. Okay, so if you see these check, check marks over on the right side, this controls the layer visibility. Okay, so if I were to unselect it, you will see that that particular text or rather the image over there will not be seen. Okay, same for the frame border. If I uncheck it, you will see that the frame border is gone. Okay, now you see it, now you don't. Okay, this is the frame background. See the black color background here? This is the frame background. Uncheck it. To remove okay check it to select and show it okay and then next what we have is the shadow you see the shadow okay, so unselect to remove and select to show the shadow okay okay so we have the four backgrounds here okay right now you are seeing the dark, dark brown background because that is um, the top layer among the four okay so if let's say you want to use the blue pattern as the background so what you need to do is to uncheck and you will see the background now is the blue pattern okay and if you want to use the blue pattern with highlight you will just unselect the top layer above the blue pattern with highlight okay unselect it and you will have the background the blue pattern with highlight and the most bottom layer which is the gray background can be seen if you unselect the one on top of it okay so this is the gray background okay so what can we do now let's um, okay let's enable the shadow layer frame background and the frame border okay Okay, so this is what you want and you don't want to use this this is something that is available just just to show you where to place the text okay so you can uncheck this 
Okay, so now you have already the image that you want to post, maybe some quotes or some messages that you want to have on your Facebook wall or something that you want to post on your friend's wall. Okay, so what you do is um, go to the topmost layer and then click on the type tool. Okay, click anywhere within this box. Okay, let's change the size to 55. Okay, and the font let's use. Uh, let me see. Let's use a cut SF and the color. Let's use white. Okay, this is where you can actually change. Um, if I move this over here. And later on, we will see the color changes. So let's stick with white first. Click OK and then type your text here. Let's put something like um, this is a code that I like and would like to share it with all. You Facebook, oops, Facebook friends. Okay, click on OK and use click on this move tool. Okay, and then just move it to the center of the page. Okay, and then that's it, you have something that you can use to post on your wall okay so of course if you are actually trying to also to promote your facebook fan page maybe you can put a link below to show people your facebook fan page okay so what i mean by this is let's just select the type tool again <coughs> type somewhere below here okay i'll move it up here um just put a link to your facebook page for example your fan page let's change the size to 33 and color to maybe okay let's just leave it as black for the moment okay select the move tool and just move it over here so I think that is um, quite good but then um, if you want to make it look even nicer you can add some layer styles so I'm going to show you what I usually do and what you can follow okay so for this link to your fan page what you can do is to create a layer style uh, maybe a drop shadow okay so with pixel you can do that also make sure you are selecting the layer where your link is and click on this icon here layer styles okay and then you will see this window open click on drop shadow okay, you will see that um, the shadow is really off okay so what you can do is maybe just adjust the distance in this case I will adjust it to, to Let's adjust it to no, maybe three. Okay. Okay. So you have the text here with a drop shadow, which makes it look um, nicer. Okay. And then um, for the code itself, what I like to do is to create another layer style called inner shadow. This works best when you are using um, text color that is white okay that is from my experience anyway so you click on the inner shadow you'll see that it's not really nice but just change the distance to 3 and the size to also 3 and you will see that it is like um, Okay, once you have changed it, you will see that 
the text now looks definitely better than previous okay so you already have this and you can of course use this save it and then do a post to your Facebook page so in case you want to change the background let's say you don't want to use this grey background okay and you want to go with the dark background just click on the dark background or you want to go with the blue pattern background or the blue pattern with highlight so just choose which one you want let's say we go with the blue pattern with highlight so next what you do is just go to file and save okay save it in jpeg format which is um, good since you have some gradients here and go up to 100 for the best quality you can save it to or post it to Facebook directly and so on but for this example we'll just save the image to your own computer so click OK and I will just click save okay image is saved so if I go back to my folder you will see that I have the Facebook post image there ready for you to post on Facebook okay, so let's do one more um, this time I'm going to show you how to actually put in some images okay, that you can you know either your own image um, images that you purchase from website like I stock photo deposit photos and so on okay so let's just um, select a photo from a website uh, f from the web okay okay these are some of the images that I've searched with um, earlier baby photos so let's say I want to use this particular image so I'll just click on this image okay once I have the the big image I'll just do a right click copy image URL and then I go over to Pixlr go to file open image URL and then press ctrl V to paste the URL and then click OK ok I just have to be clear here that the image that I'm using and copying from the web is just an example for this video so if you are going to use any images from the web make sure that you have the right permission to use either for personal use or commercial use so you have to make sure you check that you can use the image okay otherwise if you're not sure go to deposit photos iStock photo and those type of website to purchase the images that you want to use okay so you can see that this image is already open okay if I click on the earlier image that we have you will see all these layers so you know that this is the file that is selected or the image that is selected so now what we are going to do is I am going to select the baby image make sure that the layer is only showing the baby image and I want to use this image on the template that we have so I am going to just click and drag over to the template that we have okay so you can see that it is somewhere there hidden behind the frame and the frame background the reason for it is because we are in I've copied it to a layer that is below the frame background and the frame border okay so what we need to do is just click on the layer and then just drag above the frame background okay and then you just move it okay you want to enlarge to fill up the, the space here so what you do is with the layer selected go to edit free transform Okay, so let's just do this. Thing should be okay, and hit enter. Okay, you have the image covering the frame. 
so let's move the code layer somewhere here and if you want to change this just click on the type tool and click above the text itself text itself make sure that it is selected okay so now you can edit the text okay, so let's see click like if you think I am the cutest baby ever of course I'm referring to the photo okay um, let's just change this to 52 or maybe 50 okay uh, select the move tool and move it to somewhere that you think is you can put it here you can put it here uh, it's really up to you okay let's just leave it here and since the image is um, there's a lot of white in the image so the white text may not be suitable so let's change click the type tool and then change the color to maybe a bit gray I think let's just leave it as that okay hit ok and let's say you want to use the dark brown as the background okay so now you have the dark the background which is the dark brown and then um, you can see that this earlier black text does not match the dark or dark brown background so what you do is select the layer and then make sure you select the type tool click over and then change to a lighter color maybe something like that click ok and then done so let's just save this go to file save change drag this slider all the way to 100 make sure jpeg is selected click ok and then save it as baby photo dot jpeg save okay, done so now we have two images we have the baby photo and we have the fb post image so what you need to do next is go over to your fan page or your own personal facebook profile um, but then just uh, i'm already somewhere in my demo page here let's select photo type something um, this is a test post choose file let's select the fb post first and then click post okay the size of the template itself is actually double the size of what is the um, image that is optimal for Facebook timeline um, as you can see this is actually about 403 pixels by 403 pixels but the template was actually created double that, that size which is 806 pixels width and height so now we have the post here so it will just fit nicely okay and if you click on it you will actually see that the quality is actually quite good okay, okay let's post the other image that we have is uh, another post for me. Select the baby photo and post. Ok, 
okay so you see that how it looks on your timeline page I think using images will really help to make your timeline um, stand out and you know if you have messages that you want to put across or you know, just to share some photos or some quotes that you like I think it's a good way to actually capture attention rather than just normal text that others are doing so if you click on this photo you can also see that you know the quality is is quite good the resolution is quite good and I hope um, you will be able to create you know um, more of this type of images for your own purpose and um, if you have any feedback with regards to the e template um, I wish I surely would like to hear those and um, maybe in the future I will create some other templates that I will share out. Okay, so until then, enjoy the template and just drop me a message okay, or you can just um, PM me or just post a message in our Facebook fan page which is uh, facebook.com slash fanpagerocks and let us know what you think of the template okay and if you do have any questions just pm me and you know if i have the time available i will surely reply to your questions okay until then um, this is irman from fanpagerocks.com enjoy the template and i'll talk to you soon